Um, I had a question about uh, water fast. I, I understand during water fast you don't eat anything, just drink water, right? Right. So how does your body deal without having vitamins and minerals and that? Yeah, that's a really good question. It turns out that you don't get deficiencies during water okay. fasting because of the recycling capacities of the body. Fasting okay. itself is a biological adaptation. It's one of those things, if it wasn't for our ability as humans to fast, our species couldn't have survived. Mm -hmm. We certainly could never have wandered away from the tropics. You think about chimpanzees, which can't fast. Mm -hmm. They have to be, have a constant s source of readily available food. Humans wandered away all over the planet, and when spring came late, if it wasn't for this ability to fast and change our brain, our main burner of glucose, mm -hmm. to burn fat instead, we wouldn't have made it. So this is a very natural process, and part of the process is recycling the vitamins, the minerals, the other nutrients that are utilized. That's why you'd actually live longer on water only than you would say on white bread only. Because oh, okay. you would develop nutrient deficiencies eventually on refined carbohydrates or something. You, you, you typically won't do that within the type of timelines that we're talking about with fasting up to 40 days. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. Can I ask about intermittent fasting? Absolutely. Yeah, intermittent fasting is an interesting process because it's not actually fasting, it's really more like intermittent feeding, but the idea is to narrow the feeding window. <laughs> and what the studies suggest is it doesn't matter what kind of diet you're even talking about, any diet, that you narrow the feeding window will tend to reduce the proportional calories of that diet. So let's say a person decides they're not going to eat anything, say, before 9 or 10 in the morning, and they won't eat anything after, say, 6 at night. You've increased the fasting period between dinner and breakfast, and by narrowing the feeding window you improve satiety response and you tend to eat less. Mm -hmm. And so that's a useful tool for people that are trying to lose weight. Like let's say for example you're eating an exclusively plant food, SOS free diet, but you're still not losing the two pounds a week you're, that your target might be if you're a female. Um, one thing you could do is keep the same diet but just narrow the feeding window. Some people will add to that, they'll limit their calories to 600 calories one day a week, or maybe even two days a week. They will eat just raw fruit and salad. And so, you know, if you eat two pounds of salad and a, and a pound of fruit, you're getting about five, 600 calories. So by doing that one day a week, maybe the day that they can rest, that they're not working as a nurse, um, that will also uh, facilitate additional uh, rapidity with which the weight is going to come off. The other thing you can do, if you really want to get radical, is make sure you get enough sleep and exercise. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're active, if you're walking, hiking, biking, swimming, if you're doing things preferably that you enjoy, mm -hmm. that not only burns extra calories, but it has a blunting effect on the satiety mechanism, so you tend to be a little bit more satisfied, so. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to share it. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button or dislike comment if you have anything to add to the discussion or just want to share your story. Also, there's some videos here up above to click on if you want to see more content from myself. Stay tuned for more videos from Dr. Goldhammer.